हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर विनुता साइंटिस्ट इन डिवीजन ऑफ बायोकेमिस्ट्री इंडियन एग्रीकल्चरल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट दैट इज आईएआरए न्यू दिल्ली इंडिया टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एंजाइम इंजीनियरिंग द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल और टू अंडरस्टैंड द रोल एंड नीड फॉर एंजाइम इंजीनियरिंग to explore the major strategies and recent approaches in enzyme engineering to understand in detail on various applications of enzyme engineering in this module we will be going to discuss on what is enzyme engineering and what are the beneficial features which can be developed using this approach enzymes are biocatalyzers of protein origin which allow the great number of biological reactions Engineering these molecules for better beneficial features are commonly known as enzyme engineering. The beneficial features for industrial application includes high specificity and enantio selectivity towards rapidly challenging substrates and have to be stable during prolonged storage. And it should resist various reaction condition such as high temperature, extreme pH, excess substrate or product concentration and organic solvents. to eliminate the need for cofactor in enzymatic reaction and for targeting to preferred locations by modifying signal sequences and rare codon changes as you all know that enzyme engineering is the application of modifying an enzyme structure and thus its function or modifying the catalytic activity of isolated enzymes to produce new metabolites to allow new pathways for reactions to occur or to convert from some certain compounds into others for developing products with better use the objectives of enzyme engineering are to create a superior enzyme to catalyze the production of i value chemicals to produce enzyme in large quantities to alter specificity or promiscuity for broader substrate and to produce novel enzymes which are superior to natural counterparts the directed evolution can be achieved by two major approaches either by randomly recombining a set of related sequence example is gene shuffling or by introducing random changes in single protein sequence example is error prone pcr the advantage of directed evolution is that no structural information is needed and that variations at unexpected position distant from the active site can be introduced however usually the changes are small and several rounds of evolution have to be applied and thus a high number of variants have to be screened this method is time and labor consuming and requires cheap fast and reliable high throughput assays let us see semi rotational design semi rotational approach works on the basis of prior structural or functional knowledge to mutate specific or multiple targets combines advantages of rational or random protein design creating smaller smarter libraries based on knowledge derived from biochemical or structural data a well known semi rotational approach is casting that is combinatorial active site saturation test which uses the information derived from structural data to identify amino acids in interesting regions those are active sites which are then mutated randomly or by site saturation mutagenesis one by one or in combination random combination of mutations or correlated mutations at targeted positions can result in synergistic effects that might have been missed in single site specific mutagenesis let us see what is rational design in rational design biochemical data protein structures and molecular modeling data are evaluated to propose mutations site specific mutagenesis approach is used in this rather than random mutation strategies one of the advantages of rational design approach is an increased probability of beneficial mutations and a significant reduction of the library size and thus less effort and time has to be applied for the screening of the library This approach is specifically advantageous if no high throughput assay systems are available.
Based on the advantages and disadvantages of various the three earlier approaches, now combinatorial approaches have been used recently. Tremendous library size and various computational methods which have been developed in recent years help to decrease the library size by screening of virtual libraries and eliminating the mutations predicted to be unfavorable for the protein fold using in silico approach. Recent approaches in enzyme engineering includes various rational approaches for enzyme engineering and de novo enzyme designing involving structure based approaches as developed in recent years for improving enzymes performance, broadened the substrate range and creation of novel functionalities to obtain products with better value for industrial applications. It includes structure guided consensus approach, three dimensional database, active site redesigning, broadening substrate range, de novo enzyme design, artificial metalloenzymes and gene modifications. Let us see what is structure guided consensus approach. In this approach, sequence based information and structural data are combined. Consensus amino acids of a sequence alignment contribute more than the average to the fitness of the protein than the non-consensus amino acids and prove to be favorable during the course of evolution. Hence, modifying non-consensus amino acids to consensus amino acids will definitely improve features like thermostability. Along with the sequence information, structural features like the distance to the active site, avoiding destabilization of helices or breaking existing hydrogen bonds or salt bridges have also to be considered. Example, thermostability of fungal phytase, cellulosomal endogluconase were increased. Three-dimensional database are protein superfamily platforms that combine different types of protein related data including structures, multiple sequence alignments, conserved amino acids, mutations, protein ligand and protein-protein contact information. Three-dimensional databases can be applied for different purposes. It helps to identify suitable positions for mutation and also reveals a synergistic effect of the two most flexible position as only pairwise mutations showed the desired outcome. Example, 3DM database for methyl transferases were recently developed which revealed relevant amino acids required for catalytic attributes as well as binding of the cofactor s adenosyl methionine. Let us see what is active site redesigning? Active site redesigning using mutagenesis techniques can improve catalytic promiscuity, alternate site promiscuity and occidental catalytic promiscuity. Induced catalytic promiscuity can also be imparted to the enzymes which belongs to the same protein fold but with different enzyme activities by comparing their structures and reaction mechanism. Example, a promiscuous racemase activity was added retaining the decarboxylase activity into an aryl melanonate decarboxylase from alkali genes Branchoseptimus. Let us see the broadening substrate range. Substrate docking is routinely carried out nowadays as a preliminary method in enzyme engineering to carve the active site to improve catalytic activity, to broaden the substrate range towards industrially useful compounds and to increase or invert enantioselectivity. Let us see the de novo enzyme design. Novel enzymes can be either designed by recreating known enzymatic functions in proteins with a different fold or by introduction of activities that have not been observed in natural enzymes before into a chosen protein scaffold. Most de novo enzyme design approaches are complicated and depends on computational methods which have been developed and improved in the last two decades. A detailed knowledge of the reaction mechanism and transition state is crucial to be able to predict which amino acid at which position and distance are necessary to form an active site and catalyze the desired chemical reaction. 
Theozymes are novel class of enzymes which were identified from a library of folds were created by quantum mechanical calculations could accommodate the amino acids of the active site without clashes. Another possibility offers selection of active binding sites for enzyme redesign, a computational method which searches for structures in which the necessary amino acids are already in place and only the substrate needs to be fitted in its transition state geometry. Finally, in both approaches, the surrounding side chains are optimized for favorable interactions with the substrate and transition state model and stabilization of the protein fold. Let us see what are artificial metalloenzymes. Artificial metalloenzymes designed by incorporating the catalytically active transition metal complex in the protein scaffold for improved activity and selectivity. These are a bridge between biocatalysis and transition metal complexes. There are mainly two approaches, non-covalent anchoring where either the affinity of a protein for a transition metal is used or I affinity protein substrate interactions are employed and covalent modification. The range of metal ions that can be incorporated in the active site increases the range of chemical transformation catalyzed by the enzyme. In some cases, the intrinsic metal ions of natural metalloproteins were successfully exchanged to different metal ions thereby altering the reaction catalyzed by the enzyme. Next we will see the gene modifications. Gene modifications are widely used in the enzyme engineering. The two most common used process in enzyme engineering are in vitro mutagenesis using synthetic oligonucleotides and other one is synthesis of complete modified gene de novo. Let us see the applications of enzyme engineering. Versatile applications range from biocatalysis in living system to food, industry, environmental, medical and nanobiotechnology applications. The first one is food industry applications. Food industries make use of variety of food processing enzymes such as amylases and lipases, the properties of which are improved using recombinant DNA technology and protein engineering. The next application is in detergent industries. The proteases are important for detergent industries for removing protein strains. The improvement of proteases for industry to have, for example, high activity at alkaline pH and low temperatures or improved stability at high temperatures is a challenge for protein engineering. The other application is that environmental applications. Recent genetic strategies for designing microorganisms that are smart organisms capable to eliminate environmental pollutants like superbugs were a great kick for enzyme engineering. Let us see under medical applications. The use of protein enzyme engineering for cancer treatment studies is a major area of interest and advancing day by day. Advances in protein engineering and RDNA technology increase the use of pre-targeted radioimmunotherapy which minimize the toxicity by separating the rapidly cleared radionuclide and the long circulating antibody. The treatment strategies based on the targeted nanoconjugates to increase the specificity against cancerous cells are gained importance. Next is in the field of application with redox proteins and enzymes. Engineering redox proteins and enzymes using wet and dry protein engineering tools is also an important application field especially for novel nucleic acid based catalyst construction and intramolecular electron transport network remodeling. Such engineered proteins and enzymes can be used in nanobiosensors as well as for other biotechnology applications. The electrochemistry of redox protein particularly draws attention for applications in a microbial biofuel cells, chemical synthesis and bio nano sensors. Thus, enzyme engineering applications 
using rational or semi-rational design, directed evolution and in combination thereof are found to be used for bioelectrocatalysis. To summarize, engineering enzymes for better beneficial attributes for various applications are known as enzyme engineering. Modification in enzyme structure, thus its function or its catalytic activity to allow new pathways for reactions to occur or to convert from some certain compounds into others for developing products with better use is the major focus. Directed evolution, semi-rotational, rotational and combinatorial are the four strategies of enzyme engineering. Structure guided consensus approach, 3D database, active site redesigning, broadening substrate range, de novo enzyme design, artificial metalloenzymes, gene modifications are the recent approaches in the enzyme engineering. Enzyme engineering possess numerous applications in food, detergent, medicine, environment, redox enzyme and novel fields. Thank you.